answered by the following. It's, an easy, it's easy for us to stop ourselves from taking that leap into our future dreams and aspirations, but this book has tips to help you fulfill your destiny, and joining us with, tip, with those tips is Lewis Scott, Jr., the author of After the Jump. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, you're a very talented person yourself. You're a photographer, an <coughs> author. You wrote this book helping give your perspective to those who are maybe hesitant on uh, pursuing their dreams. Tell us a little bit about After the Jump and what inspired you to write it. Sure. Sure, absolutely. So, w whenever someone is getting ready to jump out there and do something that they, they really want to do, um, whether it's leave corporate America, pursue mm -hmm. their passions, one of the things that stop them is they start thinking about how. So, I wrote this book from my heart to the hearts of anyone that reads it to really help those who are really close to making that jump, but they just don't know how. Mm -hmm. Or the individual that has already made the jump, they've already jumped out there. But then they realize when they get there, it, they need a little bit of help, a little bit of guidance because mm -hmm. it's, it's not as easy as they thought it was going to be when they jump out there. So I wrote the book for them. Um, and I talk about a lot in the book. I talk about uh, websites. Mm -hmm. I talk about sales strategies. I talk about the follow-up. I talk about um, effective marketing. I talk about all of these things. And at this, all, all, all at the while, I'm inspiring them to become all that they can become. Mm -hmm. And that really is important because it can be scary. So having the, the know-how on how to take that jump, how to do it, is really important. Now you have the three F's of effective marketing, sure. starting with fire, obscurity, forever. What does that mean? So I think one of the biggest mistakes that people make when they get out there and they start uh, trying to, to, to market themselves, so one of the biggest things that they they, they um, they, they do is they don't get enough attention so you have to fire obscurity a lot of people think that when you jump out there your, your problem is your, your business skill set or your resources mm -hmm. I don't have the time the money the, the education but it's none of those things it's really nobody knows who you are mm -hmm. so you you have to fire obscurity from your life mm -hmm. you have to get attention look at um, look at for example the Kardashians some people, they, they don't like what they're doing. Some agree, some don't agree, but they're doing exactly what you need to do to, to thrive in your business, and that is get attention. Mm -hmm. So take Kylie Jenner, for example. She received, I believe, an F rating at the Better <laughs> Business Bureau, okay. right? But she was still able to take a $29 makeup line and grow it to over a four hundred and twenty mm -hmm. million dollar empire mm -hmm. in less than eighteen months you have some companies who've been in business for decades who have not achieved this mm -hmm. but how did she do it she knows how to get attention mm -hmm. so that's 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 what i mean by that absolutely i think that kind of speaks on on another tip you have which is find a niche which is that that thing that sets you apart but i want to jump to your last tip as well focus on emotional versus logical triggers absolutely tell us a little bit about that so when you are marketing to someone you want to focus on the emotional triggers instead of the logical instead of the factual mm -hmm. things because so, some experts will say that you need to give them the facts first but I disagree mm -hmm. I don't think that people care about how much you know until they know how much you care so you need to focus on the emotional side of things don't give them mm -hmm. the facts so if you're you're trying to sell someone let's say a, a nutritional supplement or something like that if you're focusing on the facts you know my product has omega-3s and tocotrienols and this and that and this people blah 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 <laughs> they've already tuned you out at that Absolutely. point and they're looking for a way to tell you no mm -hmm. but if you focus on the emotional side of things it may take a little bit longer at times to get where you're trying to go but it's worth it you mm -hmm. know so same same example when you're speaking to someone on the emotional side you, you find out a little bit about them you know hey I understand that you have a daughter I understand you have a family I do as well you know but I can't imagine what my family, how they would feel if I wasn't around for mm -hmm. Thanksgiving this year. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and one of the things that I'm doing that's really helping me, I'd love to share with you a little bit more. Absolutely. And the good news is that you can get more. That was just a tidbit of the tips that you'll find in this book. And, you, and Lewis Scott Jr. expands on that. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely.